kid, I was the smelly kid, I was the one with the nits, you know, I was one no one wanted to play with. That bit was devastating. The Bistro runs as a main cafe, just an ordinary everyday cafe, Monday to Friday during the day until about half past two. And then on a Monday, Tuesday, we do a free community meal and we get up to 70 people. It, de it depends on the weather, it depends on lots of things, really, lots of people's circumstances. We also have the community fridge freezer and we're finding lots more people now since we shut the shop where we used to give all the food out free and um, people are actually coming into the cafe it's a bit like ready steady cook you're given a bag of mixed groceries and it's like cook something with that and it's very like that sometimes but it makes me mad as hell that kids can't afford food the Mums can't afford sanitary towels, but they can't afford toilet rolls. When I grew up, I didn't know we were poor, because everybody was the same. You know, I didn't own a toy. I didn't own a toy. I didn't miss out, because we went out and we had adventures. We played proper stuff. You know, we had an outside toilet. Our toilet paper was the echo cut into squares on a nail in the, in the outside toilet. We're dealing with families who can't even afford to buy the Liverpool echo. You know, and they can't afford light bulbs, basic, they can't afford basics. It's not luxury items, it's no soap powder, washing up liquid, they can't afford shampoo. Oh my God. And I think it's a disgrace. I'm a fixer, I'm a put it back together, make it right kind of person, you know, and, and sometimes that's great because I'm in a position to fix it and put it right. But when you're powerless and you're not in a position to fix it and put it right for people, I struggle with that because I want to, I'm chomping at the bit to do something. And when you can't, I find it really, really frustrating. It's a heavy load to bear. It's not my load to bear, but I tend to, I tend to like a good worry, I suppose, you know. Um, and I, f I just feel people's pain. I, it's devastating. We should be helping each other. If everybody did a little bit, it'd all be done, wouldn't it? You know, and so that's sort of my thought process, if you like. I think everything we do is like a throwing a pebble in a pond and there's a ripple comes out from the pebble and it just goes the whole size of the pond, the lake, the whatever. And it's being a little pebble in a big pond and seeing the ripple and the difference you make.